Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we create a table with rounded corners. Now, there's a couple of nice little tricks and workarounds to get this set up right. We're going to run through that all step by step. So the first thing we're going to need is a type frame. We're going to stretch this out here across our whole document. And we always need a type frame before we begin to insert a table. So we'll go to table and insert. We'll go for our eight rows by eight columns here. And as you can see, I'm using a slightly different style of table here with uh, these dots for our columns and rows, but that's just because I was working on a different tutorial where we were looking at how to set that up. So we'll just go to window, styles and table styles. And I'm gonna bring us back to the basic table. So this is the table you would normally see when you begin working in Adobe InDesign. So we'll stretch this out and we'll just distribute out our rows here. So we'll right click and distribute our rows evenly. And we're gonna click inside our table here. So the first step we need to do is actually remove the table outline. We can't actually curve the outline of the table itself. We need to actually curve the outline of the text frame. So we'll come up to table, table options and table setup. And in here, in our first tab, table setup, we're gonna reduce the weight of the border to zero. So we end up with no border. I had preview turned on. Um, if you need to see the preview of what you're gonna get when you make those changes. We'll click OK there. So the next step is to come to our selection tool. We've got our type frame selected here now, and we're gonna turn on the stroke for our type frame. So we'll just make this two points so we can see it a bit more clearly. Now in the type frame, we have this little yellow dot at the top right. We have this for all of our objects, whether it's a text frame object, an image object, an image frame object, or a basic graphic where we can click on that little yellow square and now we can curve the edges of our table. Now, when we first do that, um, we get something funky happening. And there's a trick to kind of making this sit nicely within the table. Now, because our table is still within the text frame, it's essentially still a paragraph. So if we double click into here, you can see my cursor's flashing nice and big across the right-hand side there. I've double clicked in this white space at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do here is actually justify this with my last line align center. And that is gonna do some text frame magic and pop that table right in the center. So if we come down to the bottom, I've gone back to my selection tool here again now, I'm double clicking at the middle square at the bottom here, it's gonna snap that bottom frame to the edge there. So if we do Shift and W, which is gonna show us a preview of what we got, you can see we've got our frame set up nicely there. Now, the next thing to do is to actually add some type in here, which is gonna start to push and pull things around a little bit more. So I'm just gonna create another type box here and we're just gonna fill that with placeholder text, just giving me something to copy and paste in here. So I'm gonna copy some text into here and you can see that straight away with those rounded edges, we need to deal with some alignment issues, which are pretty easy to, to deal with for the most part. If we just grab a couple other pieces of type here. Okay, we'll just offset these so that they look a little bit randomized. Okay, we don't need to fill up all the cells, but... Okay, so once we've got some type in there, you can see obviously we've got these alignment issues around the rounded edges. And then also, if we go into our cells here and actually start to work with some inset spacing, so if we go into table, cell options for the cells we've selected, and then text, we have here, and I have my preview button turned on the bottom left, the cell inset option. So basically, this is what's gonna push our text away from the edge of that table there. So essentially what you can see is happening here is when we add that, we're starting to push and pull our table around. And depending on how you've got your cell alignment set up, um, you'll need to keep double clicking on this bottom square to actually get your, your cell to align properly. And there's sometimes a little gap that pops up at the bottom of our table here, we'll need to adjust to get that to, to fit just right. So I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. It's probably the easiest way to set up this table with, with rounded edges. One other thing to consider as well is there is a different way that we can align text within our text frame. So if we go into object, text frame options, we can align to the top, to the center or to the bottom, um, or we can justify it, okay? So we're gonna align to the center, click okay. And what that means is that when we begin to, we come back in here, work with our table and our cell options, 
then in here when we add those insets the alignment adjusts in a slightly different way so you can see we're getting a gap um, at the top and bottom as we modify that cell inset so if we just come back to five millimeters you can see again when I go back to the selection tool then if I double click here it's going to snap all those cells back to fit. So we've got some nice flexibility in here for kind of modifying our cells, the curvature of our the edges of our table if we need to do that. And then obviously when we change things like the color of this outside line, so the stroke here, we're changing it for that text frame rather than for the table itself. So hopefully this is useful if you're looking to create rounded edges on your tables. Do leave some comments below if you have any questions or queries about how this is working. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.